Hello everyone and welcome to Ian's Bricks. As you see behind me, I've got quite a few sets that I've been building recently over the past month or so. They're all relatively small sets, all under £25 or $30, €30. Euros. Uh, but I just wanted to show you some of the things I've been building, what I like about some of these sets, what I dislike about some of these sets, uh, and whether for a cheap Lego set, whether it's definitely worth something uh, that I would suggest that you sort of buy to build uh, as to whether it's a good set or not. So um, I'm going to just uh, basically start uh, with the most expensive items and work down to the cheapest. First set then is this uh, 10639, the Plum Blossom, part of the Botanical Collection. Uh, this is a set that was released in August of 2024. It costs uh, £24.99 here in the UK uh, and it's £29.99 in US dollars and euros. It's uh, 327 pieces altogether. I'm just sort of spinning this round slowly so it gives you a good overview of how this goes together. It's a really nice build. This There's a lot of, lot of this I, I quite like. I like how the base goes together. They're relatively simple but straightforward. You can't actually take uh, the uh, blue part off this sort of uh, dark blue colour uh, because it, it fits in with a pin. Uh, but I love the way that they've used all this lacquered gold around the outside. It makes it stand out and look really nice. Uh, the build itself was probably a little bit repetitive because you have a lot of these sort of Technic pieces and things that you fit all together. But I think the overall final look of it as well, especially from the front, with these flower blossoms looks really really nice uh, it wasn't the it, as I say, it wasn't the most exciting build in the world but it wasn't too bad uh, lots of, sort of little fiddly pieces uh, but it's reasonably sturdy it does wobble around a bit as you can see as you move it so it does shake around but it's not going to fall off or anything like that it's uh, you can pretty much let's just see if we can hold this upside down we've got some loose pieces in here so I don't want to tip it all the way you do sort of finish it off by uh, putting some uh, little uh, one by uh, one by one uh, round pieces in there as sort of uh, um, soil I suppose it is but yeah overall I think this looks really really nice uh, this is a set that is available uh, from Amazon here in the UK uh, so the chances are that in time this may be reduced but I think even at £25 this is quite a nice uh, quite a good price for this I was quite impressed when I saw the price for this first off uh, and uh, this is something that uh, will look really really nice in any kind of Lego display Next up we have the twin sister of the Plum Blossom and this is this set number 10368, the Chrysanthemum. Uh, this is basically the same price as the other set, $24.99 or $29.99 in US dollars and in Euros. Uh, very, very similar. The uh, The pot on this one is uh, is slightly different. I actually really liked how this went together as well. Uh, this, this does actually come off here. You can see how it's sort of fitted in, but it's uh, made sort of upside down with these, uh, these round pieces here, which look great. Again, we've got this lacquered uh, gold here. That fits relatively easily in place. He says that as he tries to get it in. There we go. Um, and uh, again, you can see we've got some Technic pieces here. Uh, again, a slightly repetitive build, putting all of these um, banana pieces in here. Uh, was a little bit faffy, nothing too, uh, too difficult though. And you had these other sort of pieces as well. But it all goes together quite nicely. I think out of the two uh, botanical sets I've got here. I think this is probably the slightly uh, nicer one to build, a little bit more interesting to build. I lo do love the fact that we get three different colours of bananas. You've got the dark yellow here, the orange and the dark orange here in different uh, different bananas. So it's great to be able to get uh, lots of different coloured pieces as well. I like how it sort of angles forward as well. So the whole thing leans uh, towards the sort of the viewing angle, which is this angle here. Um, uh, you really, really like this set. I mean this is a 5 out of 5 all day for me. Nice build, it looks great. Uh, again the price is pretty good but again because it's available from Amazon it means it's probably available from lots of places so the chances are this will be reduced um, in, in sort of an upcoming upcoming reduction or sale that they maybe have so uh, yeah this is uh, this is probably one of my favorite builds in fact if not the favorite build I had uh, I think I think for me uh, the flower looks nice as well but I lo just loved how this uh, pot this green pot goes together some really nice pieces and I just sort of like how that all fitted together and then obviously the flower comes up out of the middle so yeah really top quality this one I really did enjoy this one Next up then we have uh, this set, 42165, the Mercedes AMG 
uh, F1 W14 pullback. Uh, so uh, what um, I don't normally buy a lot of Technic sets, but what appealed to me is because it's a Formula One car. I thought um, I thought the look of the actual set looks really really good, and I think you can probably agree that the final look of this particular set, even though it's obviously made out of Technic bricks, you can see what it looks like on the underside there. It is actually a really really uh, nice build. However, I was just a little bit disappointed really that this doesn't really do anything apart from the pullback mechanism, which does work if I pull it back it'll shoot forward there we go it's like magic there we go so it can go quite fast yeah so if you've got a bit of space these will work quite well I suppose that is a nice play feature but I was just disappointed that nothing else moved none of the wheels move there's no steering on here um, you know and I think with Technic sets you sort of expect a little bit of maneuverability um, whether I don't know whether you'd expect steering in something like this uh, but I just I think it was just for me a little bit underwhelming and um, even though I think the finished article looks okay uh, there's a lot of sort of downsides to this particular set there was an absolute ton of of stickers you can see pretty much everything on here is a sticker and they were really faffy shapes and sizes to put on I'll show you the sticker sheet and you can see how many stickers there were on this particular set look I get it it's a cheap set uh, just to go through some of the uh, specs for you it's 240 pieces um, it was released in March of 2024 it cost 20 pounds 99 here in the UK or 26 99 in US dollars and in euros um, but uh, yeah this is like left me a little bit underwhelmed I did I do sort of like to build the odd different kind of sets every now and again um, but yeah this this for whatever reason apart from the pullback function is pretty underwhelming in my opinion but um, I don't know what you think whether you agree with me but um, yeah not a bad thing but uh, certainly I think there are better things from Lego we also have another vehicle on the list, and this is a Speed Champion set, uh, set number 46920, the Ford Mustang Dark Horse, uh, released in March of 24. It's got 344 pieces. So out of all the sets I'm looking at today, this has actually got the most pieces. The price of this is £20.99 here in the UK or uh, £26.99 in US dollars and in euros. Um, I actually quite like this. I think there are slightly nicer looking um, speed champion sets out there. Uh, we've sort of got this um, large base piece here which you sort of build up. Uh, and uh, but it's sort of I, I like the size of these these now these eight wide vehicles I think look really really good. Um, one interesting feature here this is actually a printed tile. You do get two of them and you sort of fit them at a, a 90 degree angle there which I thought was very very clever. Lots of sort of little fid fiddly bits in here but uh, nothing too bad and everything did go together quite well. Again we have quite a lot of stickers on here. I actually completely messed up putting the door handle on on the other side. We've got some very small pieces here and you can see here uh, it's actually peeling off a little bit. I made a right mess of this. It's my own fault for not reading the instructions. I think I was doing it in the evening and it was a little bit dark uh, and inside uh, you can take that off quite easily. We've got some really nice sort of seat features here. I think they look really good. And we've got, uh, again, a sort of little dashboard here with a steering wheel. More stickers again. And a rather interesting build here at the side. This piece here on a slightly angled piece to make up the uh, the back window. And I think altogether it looks really nice. I do like a lot of these Speed Champion sets. I didn't, wasn't particularly impressed with how this little piece here went together. Uh, but generally I think it's... Uh, it's quite a nice thing. This is actually a printed uh, printed tile here, so it's nice to see at least some prints on there, but again, quite a lot of stickers with this particular set, which you do expect for the Speed Champion set. Uh, we also get this... Um, this minifigure here, the uh, with the Mustang dark horse top, slightly unusual character hairpiece, I think, for this particular um, set. But I suppose they're going with something a little bit different. And of course, you get the helmet and the spanner as well. Um, yeah, if you are into speed champions, I think this is definitely a nice one to get. I think uh, it, it looks quite nice. They've got some decent angles and curves on the back here. These sort of pieces here curve in, which I think looks really, really good. So. A lot of pluses to this. I like the dark blue colour as well. Uh, probably not the best interpretation of the vehicle. I think they did quite a good job. Uh, this is what the actual car looks like uh, in real life. So probably not 
too accurate, it's a little more sort of sleek and curved in real life, but I think LEGO have done a pretty good job, and I think for the price of £21 here in the UK, I actually got this for around about £13.50, so do look out for those deals and discounts. I think picking this kind of setup for, for less than about £15 is definitely uh, a good opportunity to buy this kind of set. So yeah, this is another one that I do really, really like. Just a shame, really, that I messed up the stickers on this one, but that's my own fault. Next up then we have this Disney set here and this is uh, set number 43243 three, Simba the Lion King Cub uh, 222 pieces was re released in June of 2024 it cost £17.99 here in the UK or £19.99 in US dollars and in euros if you're quite savvy at the moment and based in the UK you can actually pick up this uh, in Argos two for 20 so you have to either buy two of these or this and something else to get for two for 20 pounds but to get this set for a tenner I think is an absolute bargain and it's a great little set I really like the way that obviously all the legs are posable now obviously it's going to be fairly simple I don't think you're going to expect too much the legs literally just do uh, go back and forth like this but the front ones go as well you've got a few little color variations in there which don't look great it would be nice if they would have all been the same color uh, but and let's see from the back it doesn't probably look the greatest the legs are a little bit blocky but I think for the scale that you're working with I think there's a lot of positives for this. I think the head looks great. Uh, the fact that we have printed pieces for both eyes and the ears is a great little addition there. No stickers in this set. Back of the head looks a bit weird. It is on a ball joint. I think you can just pull that off. Maybe not. <laughs> and obviously you've got the ears attached by little sort of uh, pins here. So there's a few little areas which don't look great, but I think as a small play piece like this, the mouth looks great with a pink nose. I think that's uh, fantastic. We have a nice long tail as well. Well, uh, with a little fiery piece at the end of the tail and also I do love these paws these paws are fantastic we just got the sort of the three uh, the three uh, sort of toes as it were on the front of each of these but it does mean uh, that you can uh, sort of sit this uh, character down uh, you can sort of pose it in different ways like that so I think you can sit it down like that tilt the head um, and make it look up like that or you can stand the whole um, thing up on its legs so it has got a reasonable amount of posability which I think for a small set like this for a sort of an 18 pound set which you can basically pick up for 10 pounds I think is very very good so yeah I like this one this is definitely one of my favorite uh, of the recent cheaper sets uh, from Lego and uh, really pleased to uh, have got this and to be able to have built this so very very impressed I do love the printing on these ears these sort of round pieces as well I think they're fantastic so yeah uh, a, a big thumbs up for me for this one and one thing with the uh, Simba build as well is you get this rather nice little platter of grubs and bugs for Simba to eat which is a really nice little touch we have a hot dog piece here which is a spew suppose it's supposed to mean a worm we've got this croissant piece in purple which is a grub which I think is a brilliant piece usage we have this uh, small snail which is just made up of three pieces so effective though and a couple of ladybirds ladybugs as well on there so just a little extra thing to go uh, with uh, the Simba there for something, uh, the grub platter. Uh, I just think that's a really nice addition to that particular set. Next set then is 40711, the Hedgehog picnic date this was released at the start of the year in January 2024 it's got 166 pieces uh, nice cheap price on this one it's £10.99 here in the UK uh, it is £12.99 in US dollars and euro I think this particular set is only available as far as I'm aware from actual Lego stores or from lego.com so a little bit harder to get but I think this is just a rather nice little build it's nothing too special it is what it is you get the little hedgehog pieces which do come off you can take both of those off here we have obviously a boy hedgehog here I think this is with the flower trying to woo uh, the lady hedgehog I think the, the the builds of these hedgehogs are quite nice no spikes on them but the studs sort of uh, mean that sort of show that they've got spikes on their cute little faces as well look at the nose on that that's brilliant uh, and also let's have a look at the lady one who doesn't stand up uh, the lady one's sort of fluttering her eyelids there because uh, a little piece of chocolate there which uh, 
as she's probably going to stuff her face with later and they've both got little mugs so nice that they've done them slight, very slightly different colours and things as well which is great uh, the stand that it comes on is rather clever this is obviously for Valentine's Day earlier in the year but you can see the whole thing is on a green heart base glass here and that the mushroom itself is also a heart shape as well so very clever how they've done all of that you've got a few little features in here we've got obviously a printed tile there for the wood we've got a printed ladybird there and then the mushroom as well it's just a, a fairly simple build there see what it looks like underneath um, so uh, yeah all, all together I actually really like this two little park benches as well uh, I said it's more of a sort of a display piece than a play piece I think really but I just like how it looks it's quite cute uh, and uh, yeah it's just a nice just a nice little thing that I sort of said to myself I, I must I'll buy that I'll build it one day and I was sat down one evening think just want half an hour 20 minutes just something quick to build and it was a really nice little thing uh, to do so uh, yeah I, I do like this set nothing too special about it but I just think uh, it's just very cute and for whatever reason it appealed to me uh, and uh, yeah ni nice little thing this so I was pleased uh, very much pleased to get this particular set and again it's one of my favorites out of all of the ones that I've done in this particular um, series of builds final set then is this 40669 the Iron Man Mark V the brick head it's 101 pieces it was released in July of 2024 and it costs £9.99 or £9.99 in euros or in US dollars uh, this is the cheapest of all of the sets and it's a pretty typical brick head to be fair I think build wise it was if you've built brick heads before it was very very similar but there's always nice little features on these things and a couple of nice printed pieces here we have the sort of arc reactor uh, in the middle here on a 4x1 printed piece and these two eyepieces here as well they're sort of light trans blue but with white printed on top and you also have this sort of um, forehead piece here as well which is also printed so some pretty decent printed uh, pieces on here not a lot else to say about the brick heads I say as, as builds go they're not the most exciting in the world but if you're into your brick heads and, and into building these things they're quite nice little things to build nothing too exciting but I think it, this particular one went to together quite well and uh, yeah pleased to have got this one I think it's uh, a nice little set uh, and I say for the cheapest set of the lot I think this uh, this sort of uh, hit the mark for me and was, was just a nice little build really all round so nice to get myself one of those right that's pretty much for all of the seven builds let's uh, put these in order from for the best to the worst here we have all seven of the sets ranked in order from the left hand side to probably my favourite build, uh, the right hand side to my least favourite. It's not to say that my least favourites are terrible sets, but I think out of all of these, this is just how I sort of, how I see things. So yeah, obviously the two flowers, the two botanical connections, the chrysanthemum and the plum blossom are my favourites. Yes, they are the most expensive of these sets and you can sort of tell why, but I just loved how they all went together. I think as display pieces, they look great. They look great as a a, a sort of a, a pair as well uh, look really really fantastic on maybe either end of a bookend or a fireplace or something like that they look really good or even just together uh, next is the Speed Champion set. Uh, again, Speed Champions are very, very good. I like how they all go together. I'm not really into my cars particularly, but I do like these Speed Champion sets now that they're eight wide. I think there's some really good models. Uh, fourth on my favourite list is the Hedgehog Picnic. Just such a cute little thing, this. Uh, I, I, I just really like this. I don't know why it appeals to me so much, but it just does. Uh, next, we have the Simba. Again, not a bad build at all. I mean, even though this is sort of fifth in my list, it's not a bad build. Build. it's just obviously because it's just a cheaper set it just look a little bit blocky I think sometimes so that's probably what let it down a little bit uh, sixth on the list is the Iron Man brick head again nothing too much wrong with it it's a brick head it does what it says on the box uh, some nice printed tiles on there as well but as a building experience probably a little uh, there are some nicer build experiences out there and then finally last but not least is the uh, F1 uh, vehicle uh, the Mercedes um, again not a terrible build I thought the, the building experience and how the vehicle looks at the end looks really really good I was just a little bit underwhelmed by the lack of sort of any sort of technic features really and so many stickers on this particular set which does let it down a little bit certainly not a terrible set I mean there definitely are worse sets out there but I think if you were to if you were looking sort of to spend under 25 pounds 30 dollars or euros for a set that would probably be uh, towards the bottom of my list
that's pretty much it then. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review of some of these smaller sets to buy. Uh, and as I say, do let me know in the comments if uh, you've either bought some of these already or you uh, maybe will want to go out and buy some of these. And do look out for those deals and discounts as well. Uh, apart from maybe the brick heads and the hedgehog set, uh, all the other sets should be relatively easily available from other locations. So do look out for those deals and discounts. Even on some of these smaller sets, it always helps to be able to get a little bit of a discount if you can. But that's that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.